Hello, my amazing people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or anytime you are coming across my platform. If it's your first time and you like what I'm doing here, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications, and that way you'll be able to know when we upload a new video. Here in Linda's TV show, we react to all forms of videos, local, international, especially what is happening in Nigeria. I want to appreciate YouTube. Yes, I will keep on appreciating them for creating this wonderful platform that we are using to disseminate information to the members of the public. At the same time, I put a disclaimer. Yes, I need to inform YouTube what I am doing here. I put a disclaimer that this platform, Linda's TV show, do not and will not promote hate speech, violent misinformation. We are here to educate, inform the members of the public about what is happening. In fact, myself, I don't like uh, hate speech, I don't like violence, I don't like misinformation, So, and I don't like instigating war. But I want to inform YouTube that a call for self-determination is not a call of war. Please. Morning program. I see you. Onye Enema, Chika Sin Chika, I see you. In this morning program, this morning, one thing that brings me, or one thing that I want us to talk, or one thing that I want us to look into, is the phrase, Simon Epa is very dangerous than what we used to have before. Now, going to, into what we have to, used to have before, who is that word referring to? What we used to have before? And why must a human being refer to as an object? These are the people who call themselves educated people. They call themselves educated people. They understand the English language. Simon Eba is more dangerous than what we have. Simon signifies human being now. What we used to have signifying object because you cannot refer human being as what we used to have. All of you are educated. All of you are educated. I stop that primary three, please. But let us look into that English. Simon Eba is more dangerous than what we used to have. And what do they think that they used to have? Mazen Nam Dekano. And you have those now parading Abuja, Benjamin Madbogu, and a job for all of them parading Abuja. So why did they think that Mazen Nam Dekano wasn't that strong enough? Why? Because they know those who are behind Mazen Nam Dekano. They know them. They meet them. They do meeting with them. And they sabotage the processes, every processes. Now, why did they think that Simon Epi is more dangerous than what? Which is object? Which is non-existing? Object. If you refer to human being as what you used to have, which means it's non-existing thing. Non-existing thing. I don't want to go into have they concluded to do what is in their mind. I don't want to go into that process. But let me move into this positive direction. Because I had to align or malign myself with the irrespective talks. But let us go into this positive direction for everyone to see. If you have assumed Simon Eber as more dangerous than what you used to have, and what you used to have was Mazen Namdekano, after his kidnap, you boasted that Biafra have died a natural death. That was after the kidnapping of Onyendu. You boasted that Biafra have died a natural death. You boasted that Biafra will never rise again. You boasted and you, 
you you are so full of yourself when you boast you are so full of yourself if you have understand that Simon Eba is more dangerous than what you used to have, why don't you release what you used to have? Because what you used to have, according to you, but whom you are referring to as what you used to have is my own leader, our own leader, Mazen Namdekano, and not what you used to have. Why don't you release him? He has assured that two minutes two minutes of his free, not monitored by anybody, not followed by anybody, two minutes of his freedom, not in house arrest, not for you to send military to come and buy him, two minutes of his freedom. He have guaranteed that there will be utmost peace everywhere in Biafra land. Two minutes. He have guaranteed that. Why is it that you people who claim that Simon Eba is more dangerous than what you used to have grant that because two minutes you people refuse. You keep on keeping him. At what extent did you realize that Simon Eba is more dangerous than what you used to have. Who we are speaking for you people before? Because lately you people started speaking. At first, it was Mwete Simon Kebu, Mwete Kebu, Mwete Kebu by the people who claim that they won the same Biafra. And in the words of Onyenduma Zenam Dekano, he said, anytime your enemies want someone's death and you want someone's death it means that there is something wrong with you you cannot be in the same shoe with your enemies but these ones did not announce that they are in the same shoes with their enemies they are even announced that they are collaborating with their enemies which makes it those who kidnap Onyendu. But I'm not going to that direction. At the point that you noticed that he was more dangerous than what you used to have, what is his danger? Uh, what is his uh, uh, as in what danger does he pose? They say breaking away Nigeria. Who glued Nigeria or who brought Nigeria? Who created Nigeria? Was it God? Is Nigeria created by own originality in the existence of uh, every other countries? The answer is no. The Nigeria was created by Flora Shaw and Lord Lugard, just boyfriend and girlfriend, through Apamiko. That was how Nigeria was bettered. You must hit the like button. Share these very programs across every other platforms. And if you are watching on YouTube, if you are going to watch when this video is being posted on YouTube, hit the like button once. Share the programs. And if you wish to support this very platform, do it on YouTube through Super Chat, please. Those of you who are calling me, saying that you don't know how to do Super Chat, you have to learn it, that I should send private account number. Go and learn it. No private account number. I don't even have account. Please. That is if you wish to. Not monitoring spirit. I know what I'm talking about. Share the program. What, what you will do that it will sweep my soul here is to share the program and hit the like button. Alone, not under must that you must support this very program, but share the program, hit the like button. That is one of the support that I love so far. Now, let me go back. At what point does Nigeria notice that Simon Eba is more dangerous than what they used to have? And they call, I watch one news. One of them speaking, saying, by non-state act actors, declaring sit at home. 
Um, I look at these people. I think that they understand English. What gives you the authenticity? What gives you the power to be a state actor? What is that word state actor means? It means those who are, who are deep in the leadership. Those who the people obey. When you become a state actor, it means that the people obey you. When you command, at your own command, the people obeys. That is you becoming a state actor. But you know in word, if English is being changed to Nigeria or Nigeria perspective, it becomes another thing. For you to become a state actor, you have to wield the power. You have to get the support from the people. The people will support you. The people are going to be behind you. That makes you a state actor. But they said, some people who are non-state actors, declaring state at a seat at home. Did the people obey non-state actors? If the people obey, if yes, that means those non-state actors become state actors. And you, because saying non-state actors, you are the non-state actors. I, am I teaching here, please? Am I teaching here? What are they demanding for? What are they demanding for? Freedom. Now, let me touch this little before I move. If Nigeria have realized that Simon Epa is more dangerous than what they used to have, that they acquire sophisticated weapons, that means all the money that people have contributed when Onyendu was around was embezzled. And who embezzled the money? Who are the leadership? What are they now saying now? Let us flash little light into what they are saying. They said, Simon Ekbas, Biafra Liberation Army, his freedom, are wielding more sophisticated weapons. Please, this very platform does not in any way support violence. However, when people defend themselves, it is shrine under United Nations Charter for people self-defense. When people defend themselves, I don't see it as being violence. But I do not preach violence here. What I explain is the things that are going on. So when Nigeria explains or refers to this Biafra Republic government in exile as wielding more sophisticated weapons. How much have been sold in IPOB when Onyendu was around? Did you know that some people sold all they have? Some people sold their buildings in abroad and sold the money. Then who are in charge? Who are this money being shifted to? To acquire China Samuru is in charge of China Samuru is in charge of um, what are they calling it? Uh, Amrus. He's in charge of supplying weapons to Benjamin Madabogu, not to distribute. Supply to Benjamin Madabogu, who will now in turn supply to all the men them. Now, if Nigeria is referring to Simon Epa as being more dangerous than what they used to have, it means that Benjamin Madubugu and China Samoru failed in their duty. Little wonder they are now using the same escort whom they call terrorists in uniform. I think one day I have to get a copy of the lecture. I don't know if that copy, I can see it. The copy of the lecture, which we were taught, the, which we were taught, so for, so people will understand the area that I'm going to. And if you still have that lecture about guerrilla warfare, the antics of guerrilla warfare, how you do, please send me the copy. 
send me the copy. Who are those who teach this thing, this guerrilla warfare? It is Benjamin Madbo. He was at the national camp. National camp. He was at the national camp. Benjamin Madabogo. The ghost of Chena Samoru. And too many others. Now, why did they, why do they sing criminality, criminality? They understand that in every freedom, criminals take opportunity of the freedom to perpetrate may mayhem. But why do they result into the criminality? They want to see a place to hold to bring the freedom of the people down because they are no longer genuine. In the words of Mazen Nam Dekano, if your enemy wants this person dead and you want that same person dead, it means you are not sincere. It means you are a sellout. Now let us go back to the non-state actors. Now, when Nigeria have realized that uh, Simon Eba, who is a non-state actor, is wielding power of obedience, what do they have to do? In this aspect, what do they have to do? What are the things that they're supposed to do in order they are supposed to ask what is it? And in what is it? They have Mazen Namdekan. Mazen Namdekan, whom they kidnapped in Kenya. Why did they kidnap him? Because according to them, they said he is trying to break away from Nigeria. Even in when they announced, they said that Biafra is now a forgotten story. But when Onyendu was around, they were saying that Onyendu is a criminal, holding criminals and kidnappers and all of this and that. But when they kidnapped Mazen Namdekano and succeeded in kidnapping Mazen Namdekano, when they brought him back, they now announced that this Biafra of 18 will then put to rest. That means it's no longer criminality. That means they know that they, what Mazen Namdekano wanted was Biafra. Or is Biafra. Let me use the word is Biafra, not was. They know that what, what Mazen Namdekano wanted is Biafra. But they shouted criminality only to end up kidnapping him and then announced that the world Biafra can now put to bear instead of them to announce that the world criminality is now put to bear. Now when they saw that Simon is now superior as according to them, who have they used before to tell you that this Simon is a criminal? It was a geofo. Let us call a spread a spread. Then who is a Jofo working for? A Jofo is working for Nigerian government. That is the reason why you see those who are shouting criminality, shouting the same one Nigeria. I am not hidden or even I am tired. I'm telling you the fact because you know me, I will say it. I am tired. Biafra will come in an unimaginable way. I am tired of that damnable zoological republic of Nigeria. There is no way that you will say that you are a Nigerian, that you will not be greeted by bad things. No red network, no good road network, no steady power supply, no hospital, no this, no that. And Nigeria is the headquarter of every terrorism. So why must you be proud of that animal kingdom called Nigeria? What is, what is it that you have to be proud of? What is it that you have to be proud of? Now when they notice that Simon Epa is more powerful than what they used to have, what we are they supposed to do? According to them, according to them, let us go according to what they announced. They said what they used to have before. And before the kidnapping of Mazen Namdekano, they shout criminality. After his kidnap, they give this thing that Biafra will now be put to bear. 
So when they say what they used to have, first, when Simon started, you had uh, a job for saying criminal, criminal, that criminal in Finland. You had Benjamin Madubugu saying criminal, criminal, that criminal in Finland. You had the DOS criminal saying criminal, criminal, that criminal in Finland. That same music that they sang against Onyendu. Now, let us go. When Onyendu said, they are now fighting this struggle in Tana. Should it be that Onyendu is referring to these people who are now shouting criminal, criminal? That criminal in Finland. What they shouted against Onyendu. And after Onyendu's kidnap, they now said, they now said, after Onyendu's kidnap, they now said that Biafra will now be put to bear. No longer criminal. No longer criminal. What they said before when Onyendu was around was criminality. After his kidnap, they said the word Biafra will now be put to bear. That they have defeated Biafra. So what they have been fighting against was Biafra and not criminal. Then why are they shouting criminality? Do they have any form of a, uh, uh, rec uh, I don't know how to say it. Do they have any form of a resemblance? When Onyendu was around, they shouted criminality. After Onyendu, they shouted Biafra will now be put to bear. When Simon Eber took over, they started shouting criminality, of which there is one many expositions that I did. I said Nigeria is not talking because the criminals in the OS told them, Oh, allow us to finish him. When you come in, people will now believe in his more superior power. And let me tell you the truth. Every day now, people call me, Na eh, Anya Mepego. I'm telling you the fact. But those people thought that I am working for, uh, I am. Uh, 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 what are they calling it? Direct worker of under the Afra Republic government in exile. They thought that I am direct worker, but they don't know that I am an independent media. My only work here is to say the truth. I have heard some people saying, oh, that why can't you go and work under the Afra Republic government in exile? Everyone must never be a worker. Yeah. If you want to be a worker, go and work. And let me say this as a warning. What they did when Onyendu was around, many criminals, I am saying inside that place, many criminals are now watching with one eyes to be able to uh, do this. But let me tell you, Nkemen Onyendu, people have used it to learn, and PM have used it to learn. Nkemen Onyendu. There is no form, you know me, I will always say my own before it starts. I know they hide anything. Else. And if you come for me here, I come for you. There is no, there is no distance for madness. I am only defending PM because of the spiritual mandate that he have. In spirituality, I was told that you is a brave lion and a lion at that must be defended. Otherwise, you will be consumed by the lion because you have become a sabo. If you go after those who are sheltering you, it means you yourself, you are a sabo. And you will be consumed. Am I preaching here? If I'm preaching, can I hear you say, Papa, go deeper. I am a man I owe me just mouth, one of it very kind. Many sabos, many sabos are now. What happened during the time of Onyendu is now cooking up. It's now cooking up from all corner. From all corner. Hear me and hear me very clearly. What happened during the kidnapping of Onyendu is now cooking up from all corners. Doubt me at your own peril. Doubt me at your own peril. But I am here to tell you the truth. No matter whose ox is Gog. 
I remain in my Oromijus, please. I remain in my Oromijus. One of it very kind. And I preach. I preach the undiluted truth. Now when they know. That this Simon is more dangerous. What are they supposed to do? Mazen Namdekano have offered two minutes. To stop Simon. And they called Simon criminality. They said Simon doesn't rep represent Mazen Namdekano's view. Then why are you still keeping Mazen Namdekano who have offered two minutes? Everything will go down. Two minutes. Why are you still keeping Mazen Namdekano? That is the question that's supposed to go deep into the Nigerian government. Two minutes is what Mazen Namdekano offered. Now, who is working with the Nigerian government to go to another chapter because they failed to compel Onyendu inside? Then they want to do it in the front of camera. Who are those? Now, let us go to what Itengo Onyemperumiri Uruago said. He said that he is no Yejime teach a lesson. And I have told him, Webo kwana abuja ye na baga. Maka chine ke uru abuja ye. By the by, by next tomorrow, you and your handlers, I don't need You people did those evil in order to in order to reach where your people are. In order to reach where your people are. There is something that this Ikenga said. Ikenga said that uh, 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 what are they calling the name of this? Gentle. Gentle is the one that buyed two soldiers and uh, a man and a woman. Now, if we have to go into the word of Ikenga, Ikenga matched the two words. And there is something that Gentle said. Gentle said that who did gentle work under? Gentle work under and report under Benjamin Madbogu. So you now know when you expose your own self, Benjamin is supposed to be arrested because who sheltered gentle according to what you people are saying? The person that sheltered gentle is Benjamin Madbogu, whom, whom he worked under. As at the time that that thing is being perpetrated, that crime that you people call it is being perpetrated. As at that time, Janto was under Benjamin Madbogu. So who they are they supposed to hold Benjamin Madbogu? And a Jehovah, they know Janto. And stop all this. That is the reason why arrest all of the, the Benjamin Madbogu and a Jehovah. And in instant, arrest the... Uh, um, what are they calling him? Arrest Ikenga. Because Ikenga is not discovering it. Ikenga knew about it. Go to Ikenga's platform. Ikenga cheered it when it was pe uh, uh, perpetrated. Now he's calling it a crime. Then Ikenga celebrated it on his platform. And he said, according to what Ikenga said then, he said, this is the fate of Ndisabo. Do you think that I forget very easily? Now it has become a crime to you. When you we are telling it, you said that this is the fate of Undisabo. And now you are coming out to tell Nigeria. You know everybody in Nigeria forgets something easily. That thing is a zoo. Everyone in zoo forgets something easily. But that is not my teaching. I have told all of you, even the Kenga, I said, after exposing him, Nigeria will arrest him overnight. After exposing Ikenga, I will prepare and dedicate a program to, to him. After exposing him, he will be arrested. The same person who is now telling his umuoko, oh, gentle by the soldier, that it is a crime, it is a crime. He celebrated it when it happened though. Ikenga celebrated it. So why is he now forming as if he now knew that it was perpetrated? And what, who, who is gentle on that? When that thing was perpetrated, was he under Simon? No. 
He was under Benjamin Madabog. And there is something that he said in his prog video. According to video that Gentle did then, he said that they use me to commit all kinds of, they want to use me for evil. And I realize myself and withdraw. So, Ikenga, you now know that you yourself is the father of what you are saying, committing crime. If what you said is a crime, that means you and Benjamin and a Jew are supposed to be arrested. Please quote me correctly. But that is not my program. Let me focus into the program of the dragon. Simon Eba is more dangerous than what we used to have. More dangerous than what we used to have. And the word what symbolizes object. Those of you who got us to, can you refer to uh, this person is what we used to have. Is that a good grammar? Nkechi is a uh, is what we used to have before. Nkechi is what we used to have before, I mean to say. Nkechi is what we used Nkechi is what we used to have before. More dangerous than what we used to have before. I don't know if I am communicating. And that thing that they used to have before, according to them, that thing that they said that they used to have before is Mazen Nam Dekano. Then why, if Mazen Nam Dekano is dangerous, according to them, but Simon is more dangerous, why are the people who claim that they want freedom for you people fighting the same Simon who is now more dangerous against Nigerian government? Why? Why? Why are they fighting that Simon? Whom they said that is more dangerous than what they used to have. Why? Is it that these people doesn't want freedom? Is it that they want the betrayer of their own people? Is it that they are tired of the freedom that they claim that they want? What is it? That made these particular people to say that with a Simon Kebu, with a Kebu. When you ask yourself in all sincerity if the, the spirit of Chukwoku Kabiyama is in you, in all sincerity, you then notice that those who lie to you that they want Biafra only killed a lot of our people in order to assume or to be authenticated into the state of Nigeria. Those people who shouted that Buhari is a zoo. And let me tell you people, let me do this as a very quick one. During the eight years of Buhari, no protest anywhere in Nigeria. Did you see any protest? Buhari was the worst of it worst. It was the foundation that Buhari led that people are suffering today. It was the foundation that Buhari led that people are suffering today. There is no time that Nigeria have been good. But why is it that nobody, even Labour, did not stage protest during Buhari? Why? Had it been that Labour staged protest under Buhari, he would be arrested. They will be arrested. Now, let us go the time that uh, have labor operated under, protested in this civilian era against the northerners? The answer is no. So the creation of labor is for the southerners. I am saying this for those Yorobaronu, Yorobaronu, Umuefulefu. Those of you who think that you are. Uh, fitted in your one Nigerian nonsense. I am saying it for you to know that even the North is playing with all of you. Do you know why the North mount protest? During Obasanjo, they mounted protest. During Good Luck Jonathan, they mounted protest. During Tunumbu, they mounted protest. Did you know the reason why? Because you are not 
part of Nigeria as it is. Yoruba is only giving president because of evil agitation. Yoruba is only giving presidency because of evil agitation. Minus the evil, you can never be recognized. Is your bush is not taken? Is your bush is not taken? I hope I have done justice to that nonsense. All this Yoruba Ronu Obonus. Are they not mounting protest against the Tunumbu now? Is labor not operating? Go and ask the labor. Why is it that you kept quiet under Buhari's, uh, Bu uh, in, in Buhari's administration? Nigeria went uh, to what a recession. How many times? No labor came. Four increment left from 80, 85 to 500. No protest. Nin the so-called Nigerians did not protest. To 200, 500, no protest. The so-called Nigerians did not protest. Let me go. That one, I have done it for the Yoruba no nonsense. Now, why is it when state of Nigeria is crying that Simon Eba is more dangerous than IPOB that they used to have? And in that IPOB that they used to have, is this China Samoru Chike, those you know, and the rest of the criminals? They are now confessing it. That they are Simon is more dangerous. If the state of Nigeria is confessing that this person is more dangerous than what they used to have, bring him back, bring him back, bring him back, bring him back. Do you know what they did? They went more deep. More and more deep. They went more deep, deep and deeper than what you have to think about. The same way they eat the, the structure. They eat chop the structure. I am saying this so dragon will open eyes. I am not saying it because someone told me, please. I am saying what I know. Imane Oremiju speaks before it happened. Go and check. Is there anything that happened before I don't speak about? Before it happened. Even those who wanting me and pushing me, I know where they are and I know where they have gotten. And I know those who are who are working for them. I know all of you. Don't act as if I don't know you. I am Imane Uremijus. I am Imane Uremijus. Onyeze Ikenga was never part of IPOB. The name IPOB, Ikenga was sacked out of IPOB. So Ikenga is not part. Ikenga is part of the criminal enterprise called DOS. The same people, look, let me tell you what they did to Onyendu. They went deep. They met Benjamin then. They started sabotaging men. If you are tough, as Ikonso went to Ikonso's house, operated on no interruption. They saw that Ikonso was tough. They called their men insiders and they told them, oh, look, the person that did it is here. They said, okay, buy him. They buy the Ikonso. Ikonso was spied by insiders. Insiders, not the army that they used to show you. It was insiders who wear the clothes of army. <laughs> you will be shocked. The army that you said the night is it not the same one that they said that they have marched together. So it means that it was insiders who wear the clothes of the army. I am a man I pray the undiluted truth, please. I pray the undiluted truth. I preach the undiluted truth, that truth which none of them could be able to tell you. I preach it here. I preach it here. If Nigerian government noticed that Simon Eba is more dangerous than what they used to have, then why is the criminal enterprise called the US in quotes 
Remember when it started, they told you that Simon Eber is working for Nigeria. Simon Eber never used Nigerian escort. In fact, the one called, uh, the one called, uh, what are they calling him? Mm, philo philosopher, that hungry, sheepish, malnourished individual, Ishia Diola, called the philosopher, asked Simon Eber to go to Nigeria. If he said that he should go, but they told you that Simon is a Nigerian agent. They, we are saying, Simon, go to Nigeria because Onyendu went to Nigeria. That word alone shows you whom they are. Now, if they use Simon is a Nigerian agent, why will they tell the certain Nigerian agent to go to Nigeria? Which means they have been deceiving you. Because go to Nigeria simply means that... Uh, if you are brave enough, come to Nigeria. And the same word now that the same Nigerians are now using. Okay, come to Nigeria. At least, Mazen Namdekano, whom you claim that he is your leader, came to Nigeria. Came to Nigeria. Come to Nigeria. And Mazen came to Nigeria. Where was he? Where was he for you to know whom the criminals work for? When Mazen came to Nigeria, Mazi was in Lagos, kidnapped in Lagos. I don't want to expose how Mazi came into Nigeria. I don't want to. I don't want to for a particular reason. For a particular reason. But Mazi came to Nigeria. Lord in Lagos, if I'm not mistaken. They kidnapped him inside Lagos. Now, if they wanted to arrest Mazi, if Mazi were to be, they recognize him one on one, they would arrest Mazi from the airport. For them to arrest Mazi from the hotel, and Mazi is a brilliant somebody. He doesn't use cell phone to call, he only uses WhatsApp to make call. Then who told them that Mazi is in that particular hotel? You then notice that Sabu started from onset. Who told them that Mazi was in that hotel? Who were those that Mazi called? And who made them know that Mazi was in that? All of you know that immediately you arrive in Nigeria, there is DSS in the, in the airport. Immediately you tender your password, they will look at it. And if you are among the person that they wanted, they will take you from there. So why is it that they never recognize Mazi at the airport? They only took Mazi from the hotel. So who told them that Mazi was in the hotel? These questions, nobody has been asking about it. Who told them? Upon Mazi Namdekano's carefulness. And that's the reason why I am speaking the way I do. I do not support violence of any type. Freedom doesn't call for killing. But they kill Biafra people. It time there is ordinary flag, ordinary flag, without anything. So why is the BOS criminals still against that person? That the Nigeria, the same Nigeria that they said deceived you people, that Simon was working for Nigerian government. The same them used their platform to say, Avrun Ishirike, go to Nigeria. Mazen Namdekano went to Nigeria. Which means they want Simon on. They want that faith that, Mazen, that bewildered Mazen Namdekano in Nigeria to happen to Simon. They want the same faith. And let me sound this as a warning place. If you are in Biafra, Liberation work for Biafra and not for your own personal gain. Chineke Eme, Many have gone. If you are in Biafra and you work for your own personal gain, work for Biafra. Work for Biafra. Work for Biafra. And stop thinking or calculating in this thing. Or turning it as a business. 
the way I say things here, you may not understand. You may not understand, but the days ahead are evil. From me, from here, it is good morning. Please note, the days ahead are evil. Those who are working for Biafra are also sabotaging Biafra. But God will give us Biafra because he has said in an unimaginable way, Biafra will come. From me, from here, God bless Mazen Namdeka no Hamadi Kechineka na Huan Yikukua na Huanya. God bless you, the Savior of our own time. God bless you, Mazen Simon Eba. Aswanoka, one more mopo, the brave lion in the spirit, in the spirit dream. God bless you, and may you live from generation to generation. May you live to see Biafra. When I say from generation to generation, you know what I mean. Those who are brave, they never die. Their names still remain immortal. Even though they grow old and die, even though they reach 100 plus and die, their names still remain immortal. The founder of America, his name is still being heard today. After founding America for how many years, 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 and years, they still remain till today. From me, from here, God bless all of you. The days ahead are evil. Hello, my wonderful people. As we are finished watching this interesting video, Please, I want to see your comment, your contribution, your opinion in the comment section. Like I said earlier, let us do it constructively. Tell me what you think about this uh, video that you have just watched and also about the platform. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please remember to subscribe, put on your notification bell, share this video and remain blessed.